a shooting in a suburban parking lot where two Elk Grove police officers suffered gunshot wounds while trying to apprehend a burglary suspect who was armed with a handgun. There was a, a firearm located here at the scene, yes. Police have not released the suspect's name, but say he is a 41-year-old convicted felon from Sacramento who had been spotted casing this travel trailer with a female companion on Teagan Road just west of Franklin Boulevard. This morning when he came down, I noticed that a big RV sitting here. It's been there all week. The windows shot out, the draperies out. Another neighbor called police after reporting suspicious activity near the trailer around 1115 last night. One of the individuals, a male, uh, took off running from the officers. Officers gave chase. The chase ended here in this parking lot which point uh, shots are fired. Both officers are hit as well as a suspect. The two officers were hit in the lower legs while the suspect suffered more serious wounds and was hospitalized. The travel trailer with Pennsylvania plates was towed from the scene for evidence purposes. Police later revealed it had been previously used by the burglary suspect even though it was not registered in his name. The SUV that accompanied the trailer had expired California plates and was also towed away. The entire incident proving to be very unsettling for this suburban neighborhood. It's really quiet. I never, I would never think this happened. The suspect in this case will be charged with resisting arrest and being a felon in possession of a handgun. In Oak Grove, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. The two officers involved in the shooting incident are expected to fully recover from their wounds. One of them is a 14-year veteran of law enforcement. The other has 10 years of experience.